Okay, we're continuing on from that last tutorial where we uh, made all of our images into image buttons on this preview panel. And so what we want to do now is make is that when we click on one of these pictures, it uh, puts the name of the picture in, the so in our, in our uh, selection list, our drop-down list. Okay, so the way that we do that, well, it's going to take a little bit of sleight of hand here. But there's some really cool stuff in VB that makes this relatively easy. The first thing I'm going to do is outside of the data list here. It, I'm going to still be in the same panel. Or actually, I could be anywhere because I'm going to put a button on the page, an image button. And it's going to have this ID of command select picture. But the reason I want it, I want it outside of the data list is I'd, I want to be able to refer to it with normal VB code. I don't have to say it's inside the data list and do all this stuff. So I put a normal image button on here. And, uh, but I hide it, so make it invisible. And then what I do, actually before I hide it, is I double click on it. And what that does is over in my VB code, is it adds this select picture, adds this in there on the click. And so, um, what I'm going to do is use this code though from all of my other image buttons. And the way that I do that is up here, I say in these image buttons in the template, every one of them that gets written, I say on click, run this select picture, run, uh, run that code, run that VB code. So um, the way that I tell which, which one it is, and you know, I've got a bunch of pictures on it, which picture is calling this select picture, is with this command argument. So the ones in the template, you notice I'm going to pass in the file name. That's what I'm doing right here. So when I call select picture, I'm also going to send a command argument of whatever the file name is. So over here in this code, then, I can say, OK, well, when we get this, you know, let's do the thing we did before. Let's make a temporary drop-down list since we can't get to ours directly. And let's find the real control, our DDL photos, and set these two equivalent to each other. And then what we'll do is, on our temporary drop-down list, we'll make it selected value. We'll set that equal to the command argument that was set in, sent into this thing. So it's seeing who the sender, which object sent this in, but it's going to say which command argument it had. This will be the picture name of the actual picture that we clicked on. We'll convert that to a string, and that's what we'll make the selected value over here. So. Um, we need this image button here to set this up. If we take this out, if we delete this after we build this, it's going to throw an error. It's going to come back here and say, hey, you know what? This handles command select picture. We're not finding command select picture, or we're not finding the object that should handle this. So we've got to have this guy in here, but just make him invisible. So again, it's a little bit of, a little bit of trickery here to make this work, but let's give this a shot. going to force us to log in, and it's probably not going to find it the first time. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now we can come in here, select this, and you notice right now it says car 3 is selected for this one. But let's go view the photos. And let's select clothing. Click on that. Oh, we need to put the stuff. Oh, okay, we I forgot one thing. After we do this, we need to toggle our visibility back the other way. So let's go back here and fix that. So, save all this, refresh this guy, oh, how do I end up with pictures, okay, let's go back to edit newsletter, select, 
again right now it's cars three or car three but let's set it to clothing nope yeah I probably set those panel names incorrectly didn't I yeah I did um, so I'm sure some of you saw that happening right so we want this one we want panel was it view image I can't remember what I call these things this one we want a few photos this one to be false. But a lot of you saw this, didn't you? You're probably even trying to tell me and I didn't hear you. Okay. So there we go. Save that. Reload. Okay. So let's just try it one more time. It says clothing now. So let's view photos. And let's set it to newsletter test and there it's set to newsletter test okay so that's it again it's uh, quite a bit of code for this but it looks like it's working out okay so the last thing we'll do in the next tutorial is come back and add some instructional test text for the user here and kinda tell them how to handle all this we'll also put like a cancel button on here if they don't want to change it they won't have to we'll put probably put a cancel button at the top and the bottom of this Okay, let's end this one.